Hello there! In this video, let us see how to obtain zeros and poles of a transfer function. In this video, we shall obtain them theoretically and in my next video, we'll obtain them using the software MATLAB. So, in this example, I have the transfer function s plus 2 by s square plus 7 is plus 12. I need to obtain the zeros and poles of this given transfer function. So, let me make it clear that zeros of a transfer function is the roots of the numerator. So, in this transfer function, s plus 2 by s square plus 7 is plus 12, the numerator is s plus 2. So, if you find out the roots of this s plus 2, you have the zeros of the transfer function. So, s plus 2 is equal to 0. That implies s is equal to minus 2. So this is the zero of the transfer function. The next thing is the pole of this transfer function. Remember that the pole of a transfer function are the roots of the denominator of the transfer function. So here we have s squared plus 7s plus 12 is equal to zero. On solving this equation, we get s into s plus 3 is equal to 0, which is s is equal to minus 4 and minus 3. So, in this case, minus 4 and minus 3 are the poles of the transfer function. I hope this is clear now. The zeros of the transfer function are the roots of the numerator of the transfer function, and the poles of the transfer function are the roots of the denominator of the transfer function. Let us look at another example and that will make things clear for you. Let me take the example 6 by s cubed plus 6x six six squared plus 11s plus 6. So this is my transfer function. When you look at the numerator, you have no s terms. That is, you have no s plus 6 or s plus 2 or s minus 2. You have nothing like that. So, you have the zero of this transfer function is zero. Because there is no s term. So, what's the point in saying that there, there is a zero for this transfer function? So, this 6 is, this 6 is the gain it is called as the gain of the transfer function. Now, on solving this equation, we get the poles of the transfer function. We can write this as, uh, on solving this, we get s plus 1 into s plus 2 into s plus 3 is equal to 0. Let us solve this equation. Uh, on uh, simplifying this, we get this. So, the poles of this transfer function are minus 1, minus 2, and minus 3. You have the 0 of this transfer function is 0, the gain is 6, and the poles are minus 1, minus 2, and minus 3. Hope you have understood how to obtain the zeros, poles and gain of a transfer function when the transfer function is given, theoretically. So in my next video, I'll display the same using MATLAB software.